QuakeCon plans and team. So, God, this demo's been going for a while. How about that? Um, so, it was made known to me that there were two spots out of the 16 that were left for QuakeCon. And that if I wanted to participate in QuakeCon 2015, I had to sign up with a team like pretty pretty quick, or else I wouldn't have a spot and I wouldn't be able to play. Um, so you may notice my new clan that I'm uh, repping. Don't uh, like Zorak pick, I guess is what they decided the name to be. So, uh, so. Um, you know, Vibration, a few months ago, he gave me, like, when QuakeCon was announced, he asked, you know, we need a dueler, would you be willing to join our team? And I was like, um, you know, man, I may not be going to QuakeCon at this point. I was kind of down with how the duel, um, duel situation played out, you know, instead of, instead of there being a duel tournament and then team tournaments, it's all together. But I decided, it doesn't matter if I win or lose, I'm going to have a great time anyways. And... Um, so why not go? I, I'm in the situation where, like, I have, I'm comfortable enough to pay for the flight and split the hotel cost and stuff like that. Um, I do have, I may drive, I may take a bus, I may fly. Well, it, it's to be decided. Really, uh, flight tickets get cheaper as it gets closer, but if the flight sells out, which I don't think it should, if the flight does sell out, then, uh, I'll just have to take a bus, but if it doesn't sell out, then I get a cheap plane ticket. So, but anyways, um, so I did have to grab a team real quick and sign up before all the spots filled. So I grabbed up a team with Vibration, who offered me quite a while ago uh, a team, and luckily enough, there was still a spot open for a dueler. And uh, yes, I will upload the cure analysis. Um, Let's close. Let's close that. Yeah, I'll upload the game analysis to uh, YouTube. Just the whole talk. Yeah, I'll split it up into. Um, I tried to make it, you know, sectioned into different videos in the way I kind of jumped around topics. Um, so. I will I will upload and try to get those ESR pluses. You know how it is. They're a currency. But uh, um, they were looking for a, a dueler for their team. So I will be playing the 100% uh, of the duels on my team. Um, you can see, I guess our team name is Don't Let Zorak Pick, MLN Dash. So I guess, yeah. Um, vibration. I haven't talked to them yet today. Um, I guess I should add Miles. I didn't. I thought I had him on my friends list. I guess I don't. But uh, I guess they were asking what I. I, I kind of left up the name to Vibration because he's Team Captain. And I'm like, dude, just make the name whatever. I don't. Um, I I gotta I gotta get off. But uh, we need to make this team quick and get signed up. So make the name whatever. And so he was talking to the other team member, Pithy. So it's a Vibration, Pithy, Miles, and me. Um, we're all on the team. And I guess Pithy was like, nothing stupid, don't like Zorak pick. So I think this is kind of a quip at my name, because my name is probably one of the dumbest names in Quake Live, is uh, Quake Live Pro Scene, if, if you can call me a pro. Um, Zorak War, like what? It's a pretty shitty name. I tried to change it to uh, just Zorak. There was a time, point in time when there was no one named Zorak. Like, there was when I first tried to make the name. Then the account got deleted because no one played it. And then I asked Sync if he could change my name to Zorak. But it turns out some Australian player took the name Zorak before I could get it. Um, so now there's an Australian Zorak running around with his... With his uh, let's see what he's up to. Let's see what good old Zorak's up to. Um... With his 1200 dual elo. Oh, he's an FFA player. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, he's still playing 23 days ago. He's been. Got that. You know, tier 3. Okay. So, there's the Zorak running around. 
but uh, I will be practicing um, TDM and CTF. Uh, a little bit about my team members. Um, you guys may not know them because I think uh, a lot of you guys are Euros that are watching right now since it's kind of the morning time in North America. But uh, these guys have been playing CTF since, like, you know, the dawn of Quake Live, at least. I don't know if it goes back further. It probably does. Um, but, yeah, these guys are, they, they know they know the ins and outs of CTF. They're really good. So I'll be able to learn CTF pretty well from these guys, I think. Um, and then um, I'm pretty decent at TDM. I think TDM kind of dual skills transfer to TDM a bit more than dual skills transfer to CTF. Um, so, I think, you know, in the pugs, I usually top the scoreboard, and top damage, top net, s stuff like that. So, I think I, 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 I have a knack for TDM. It's really just kind of the cohesiveness as a group that we'll have to work on. But, yeah, we will be practicing during the nights. Um, so, that's how the CTF and TDM is looking. Um, you know, these, these guys aren't, like, really serious pro gamers. They... Um, as far as I know, they did compete in the CTF last year at QuakeCon. Um, I don't, I don't know how well they did. Uh, I'd have to look at the brackets, but uh, you know, I don't think, I don't think anyone's expecting us to, you know, full out, just blow out the tournament, bring home the 32k to ourselves, and leave everyone else penniless. I don't think that's what's going to happen. But uh, we are going to do our best, of course, and. Um, hopefully I can show you guys some good, some good TDM, CTF, and dual skill at QuakeCon.